Good evening, hollowed souls. Welcome to tonight's terrifying comic book review. I'm your host, Mr. Horrifying. Tonight's video is on Hack Slash Omnibus 1, which contains 300 pages of gruesome slashers, murder, and laughs. It encompasses everything that horror movie fans love about those classic slashers. The plot is pretty simple to grasp. Cassie Hack's mother became a slasher that would kill anyone who bullied her daughter. Cassie had enough of the murder and killed her mom. That is when she decides to hunt down the slashers. The story may be plain, but the pure slashing carnage illustrated on the pages makes this comic book a very fun read. Cassie Hack is the all-around badass bitch. She dresses in skimpy clothes and wields a handgun and a baseball bat that has Kiss It written on it. She reminds me of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Vlad is Cassie's partner. He's buff, he's brutal, and he's dumb. He kinda reminds me of Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th due to the fact that he wears a similar mask and utilizes a machete. There are different slashers in every issue, each of them having their own unique backstory and motives. I found them to be the most intriguing characters in the comic book. There tends to be something supernatural with the slashers. They keep coming back from the dead and it takes a lot to put them down. Therefore, you sometimes see a familiar face pop up when you least expect it. I found the artwork to be very eye-catching. It varied issue to issue because different artists worked on each one. I never found myself to be disappointed though. The line work and colors made the images really pop. The panels flowed well with the story and kept me wanting more. I could not put this comic book down and finished it in one night. I am a big fan of classic slasher movies, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Chucky, Nightmare on Elm Street, etc. This contained everything that I know and love about slashers, sex, drugs, murder, alcohol, stupid teenagers, comedy. <laughs> It made for a very fun reading experience and I can't wait to pick up the second omnibus. The only thing that I didn't like is that I didn't know about this sooner. The first issue came out in 2004. How did I miss this? Well, I have a lot to catch up on. If you are a fan of horror movies, specifically slashers, then you cannot pass this one up. If you're not into cheesy slasher movies, then skip it. I give this comic book one slit wrist just for its pure entertainment value. Well, Hollowed Souls, that is it for tonight's video. If you like it, then like it. If you want to see more, then you better subscribe. I'm your host, Mr. Horrifying. Good night.